more like bad. So Shigwe offers Woody an offer. If he's allowed to stay here, he will give them the thing from episode four. Shigwe wants to live here since the plants can shoot at taxmen and charity workers. Yes, that is the actual reason that this episode is happening. He then gives them the thing. Yes, I have lots of items here. My horse meat stash, my work in progress nuclear warhead. Shigwe has the technology to make nuclear warheads. Don't know how to charge it. No USB slot. Silly Shigwe, you can't charge that with a charging lead. It's a piece of paper, not an iPhone. We are then introduced to Wintermelon. He says phrases. What's up? It is then revealed that P Shooter knows Wintermelon and they speak or something. I don't care. Essentially, Wintermelon is a goofy comic relief character that throws wacky and zany melon PNGs upwards and hits Noctis with them. Noctis has a very mild reaction to being hit by a projectile. The zombies are all like, Oh no! That plant's overpowered because funny PVZ reference! Noctis then screams at Purple because, You dropped another seed packet. But Purple has a flashback to the- Oh my- Shigue then reveals his master plan of turning the castle into a Tesco Express. Goldie makes the fatal mistake of assuming that she has rights, and Shigue laughs at her. Starfruit tries to protest, but Shigue says, Shut up, liberal, and get the woke agenda out of my cornflake boxes. He doesn't actually say that, but honestly, would you be surprised if he did? Noctis finds a flyer for Shigue's corner shop or whatever, and that is definitely a trap. I won't stay in a trap. Good for you, basic. Noctis then tells them to go to the shops and get the thing. But they're like, oh no, we haven't got any money, we're poor. It's not a phase, father, I just want to die. That's not a very wacky and zany phrase, Picky. Noctis then suggests that they steal it, but Purple says that that is literally what they've been trying to do for the past 14 episodes. Noctis, being a based Sigma male, tells Purple to go anyway. The plants try to protest selling the gem of the underneath, saying that it could cause the end of the world. Shigwe then says, okay, and? Basic then gets killed in a shooting. You're not supposed to shoot the customer until after they give us the money. Squawks in Morrison's. So Polly can just fly into the castle. Why haven't they done that before? Basic is dropped back, confirming to the zombies that it was a trap, but Noctis does not care because he lacks basic cognitive function. Duckus then does an impression of a gaming YouTuber. She said she was 18, I swear. Split P then makes this sign. Shigwe wants to sell weapons of mass Nuclear destruction. Warhead. Woody then says that that will get them in trouble with the police, but- Oh, it's okay. They're worryingly easily bribed. What nail-biting societal commentary. Duckus then uses the pencil of plot contrivance to turn invisible, but uh-oh, the pencil doesn't turn invisible, so everyone thinks he's a flying pencil. He's a bloody witch! Burn it! Duckus is also seen in the background despite him supposedly being there, so I guess there are two Duckuses now. Duckus asks to buy the gem of the underneath, but Okay, give me the money! Yeah, well I've got on me are some morally questionable Splatoon drawings. I hate this episode. Luckily Squash kills him, and it is revealed that the zombies are brothers, so I guess death is genetic. Noctis then calls Purple a pit main, and then he goes to the Tesco Express. Starfruit thinks that selling the thing that they are literally all dying to protect is bad, but Shigwe is like, I don't care, I want money. Starfruit then makes this noise. Purple then arrives and he's like, oh yeah, I want the McDonald's Fortnite burger, and then, yeah. You're a disappointment to me, the other zombies in God. Sh Noctis then calls Picky a twig and says it's a reference, which it is, to a different plush series. Bucket then is revealed to have traumatic melon-related PTSD. Bucket and Conehead arrive and- <gasps> That's the two savages who destroyed my credit card! And Wintermelon questions the existence of Picky, 
makes funny jokes. What did the winter melon say to the plant man? Have an ice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bludgeons him to death with a melon. Sunflower then kicks Bucket's hat off with her legs. Shigwe then hits Conehead with a metal pipe. The fitness grand pastry test is a multi-stage aerobic the least test funny test thing ever gets done. Wintermelon then suggests that they shoot Polly. Squawks in what? Scurvy then enters Pirate Sea's ultimate battle mode at the loss of his bird, but dies in an explosion. Cut. Shigwe then just leaves. Okay. What a great episode. What an amazing 10 out of 10 piece of cinema. I don't want to be alive anymore. Also, Creeps has a big robot dinosaur now. Okay. So this episode is a re-upload, as the title implies. I think the old one had really bad frame rate because PlayStation Share Factory or whatever software I made this with broke it during the export process for some reason. It has the intro sequence from later episodes in it. The intro is nothing special, just shows the characters' names and probably isolates viewers because they click on a PVZ plush video and then see Woody Toy Story and Enderman Minecraft. So the episode starts off with Basic asking what the giant full metal dino is. It is in fact the Preserved in Metal Prehistoric Structure. Pimps. <laughs> but Creeps renames it to the Extinct. Conehead then says a wacky and zany phrase. Despacito. That's actually the least funny thing you've ever- Creeps then makes this noise. <laughs> We then cut to the plants. Wintermelon rejects Pichu's sexual advances. Oh wait, silly me. He's actually asking Wintermelon for dating advice. Because when a little Timmy clicks on a video about plants versus awesome frickin' robot dinosaurs, what they really want to see is a pea shooter plush toy ask another plush toy how to fuck. Squash then starts complaining about communism because right. communism is so I fucking stinks. funny. Oh please, communism is a myth made up by edgy 15 year olds to make bad jokes on the internet. Just because you acknowledge it does not make it okay. We then cut back to the zombies. Creep sets the dinosaur on the plants. We then cut to fuck off. Lizard Cretin then says, Make lots of children. What an integral quote, truly the turning point of the great and powerful Yoshi's character. Creeps then says his iconic catchphrase. You imbecilic imbecilic. We then cut to the plants. Ah, such a beautiful day. The clouds are stationary. The birds are birds. And the flowers are saying, ah, such a beautiful day. The cloud- Pea Shooter tries to hit on Sunflower but makes this noise instead. <laughs> okay then. Noctis then says racial slurs in a sexual tone. You filthy weeds. Why is this episode the way it is? Anyway, we finally get to the dinosaur scenes where it brutally mutilates all of the plants. It steps on Wally and then why are we cutting back to the zombies? I don't care. I want to see the dinosaur and all the plants to death. Anyway, Noctis wants the zombies to go attack, but they're like, no, no. What do you mean? No, no. Used to give a negative response. Negative. I'll show you negative. Pickle, get the shock helmet. This is the first mention of shock therapy in the series. I'm straight now. This is the second mention of what the fuck is this. The reason the zombies don't attack is because it's Valentine's Day and they're sad because no one loves them due to being dying dead people. Sad? What do you mean sad? The only sad I'll show you is President Assad and using chemical weapons on his own people. What? That was not a very wacky and zany phrase, Noctis. What is wrong with you? So they then decide to watch those weird cartoons Duckus has. I feel very uncomfortable watching this episode. We then thankfully get the hell out of that scene. And why are we not seeing the dinosaur? What is it doing right now? Is it just sitting there waiting for the plot? The shooter starts singing about Sunflower, but Squash is all like, Back in my day, we didn't have a son. So Sunflower is grabbed by the dinosaur 
and should be being torn to pieces right now, but I won't question it. And Goldie's like, if Sunflower dies, then Sunflower will die. Pichu is like, I'm gonna rescue you, Sunflower. But Starfruit says, shut up, you simping simpleton. I will do it. And Split P also gets eaten. The other head wants the sweet release of death. What a relatable character. Why is Sunflower tied to a shoe using one of my school PE socks? Did the dinosaur do that? Pea Shooter tries to attack the dinosaur, but unfortunately throwing peas at a fucking metal structure isn't going to do anything. Pea Shooter then steals the remote, but Creeps activates autopilot mode or whatever. The dinosaur and Pea Shooter teleport to a completely different location for some reason and start fighting. Sunflower suggests they throw it into hell. Pea Shooter then throws more things into hell. WAIT! Ah! So Creeps has been banished to hell. Sunflower and Pea Shooter have hot sex, but it was really bad and Pea Shooter tries to jump into hell. Suicide is a temporary solution to a permanent problem. This episode is the worst one so far. Holy crap. It is then revealed that Creeps clung onto the edge of hell and is picked up by Noctis. I'm so happy that this episode is over. This was the worst 11 minutes of my life. Well, off to visit your mother. The zombie's mother visits them. That's the that's the entire episode. So Purple is on his iPhone and is phoning his mother. The zombies are like, oh my god, it's me mom. This is the PVZ plush episode 16, Mama Z in question. She is just a gargantua plush with some wool on her head and some weird scarf thing. She is a goofy comic relief character that does wacky and zany child abuse. It is then revealed that the only reason that she is visiting is because the government are onto her benefit scandal. That seems slightly illegal. We are then introduced to the zombie's little brother called Redcoat. Redcoat is a goofy comic relief character that has no legs because whilst pregnant with him, she drank, smoked on a gasoline mercury and nuclear waste. It has also turned him into a brony. Sister? Oh, just because I religiously watch My Little Pony, I'm a girl. Yes. This is actually the most tragic character in all of fiction. It is then revealed that Redco is a 4chan user. 4chan. Mama Z wants to know about her children's lives and if they have grandkids so she can reap benefits off of them instead, which I don't think that's how it works, but uh, okay. Duckers comes out as a raging pencil sexual. I do not like girls. I'm more interested in the also sweet and succulent pencil. Bucket's schizophrenia is then further explored. The voice is in my head are telling me to hit myself. He then feeds his bucket a crisp. Noctis then is like, Hmm, yes, big woman, go step on the plants. We then plant to the cuts. They are watching TV. Hootin' tootin' turn on the tiddly tootly telly. The TV just so happens to be on the news talking about Mama Z with a recurring character Shin Guard. In recent news, the infamous illegal organ donor Shi Gui has been detained. So don't look for him. He then talks about Mama Z and how she's a dangerous criminal. The plants are like, hey, wait a minute. I remember you from the war. Noctis is in like, go and attack the plants, but for real this time. Noctis calls Mama Z hulking and grotesque. And she thinks that he is hitting on her. What? I have no interest in a regular shape such as yourself. I'm holding out for a real cuboid. Instead of sending Mama Z to go attack the plants, he sends Basic for some fucking reason, and Basic instantaneously just gets shot and dies. Duckus then uses the pencil of inversion and makes the peas not hurt people. Why haven't you used that before? Never mind, he just gets blown up and dies. Also, it plays a really, really loud explosion. Water potty! Purple gets shot a couple of times and gives up. Finally, Mama Z actually does something. Literally at 10 minutes into this 13 minute episode. She then steps on Split P. Mama Z then throws her child at Goldie and he mutilates her. Mini Chomp then throws the child back at Mama Z. Then Sunflower pulls on Mama Z's neck scarf and it makes her into a funny... Karen manager? 
that says manager and I need to see the manager she needs to see the manager let her see the manager <laughs> what the hell are you talking about she sees that red coat is her and thinks the gem of the underneath is a healing remedy crystal Noctis is like yes bring me the gem fume shroom shoots at her and she dies which makes her back to normal somehow she then leaves and the episode ends these past few episodes have been so goddamn pointless luckily the next one is a bit more on the wacky and zany side